Hey going guys, William here. And so today I thought that, you know, I'll mix it up a little. Here on screen you can currently see me at my previous um, competition and I was squatting for 152 and a half. Uh, at the time I'd done 155 before and I made the jump to 160 and failed it. But like, uh, like I said, as you can see here, this is the 152 and a half. Uh, I crushed that. Anyway, so here, this is um, Monday night and I trained. I went for 160, which was my max. I failed the first attempt, as you can currently see. And then I went for a second attempt, which is, you know, a bit better. My legs are a bit wider. My legs don't, my, sorry, my knees don't move in as much, which is the problem that I'm having a lot with my squats, as you can see. watch as my knees come in for a second and they shoot back out just like that that's you know that's not optimum I guess uh, here's my deadlift attempt my max deadlift attempt which was 170 I hadn't hit 170 before I uh, went for this this was a 5 kilo PB so it goes up pretty quick um, and my coach and myself I was obviously pretty proud of this um, and you know it helps with that crowd just going at you saying come on up up you know you can do it so here we have the um, bench attempt which was 92 and a half this was my second attempt I failed my third which was a hundred so this time I'm hoping to play conservative I'm gonna go for a hundred and then hopefully a hundred and two and a half because um, that's what I've um, been programmed for and programmed to hit so here straight out of the hole pretty easy um, not a real struggle, as I said, that was my second attempt, and now you'll see me warming up for my bench. So this is just some clips from my latest um, session, which was my 1RM testing for bench. So I'm just warming up here for 60, and then I moved on to 80, and this is 90. Um, you know, it goes up pretty easily on the first rep, and then the second rep is a bit more of a struggle, but you know, I'm only doing one rep on the day, which is, you know, what makes it count got to stay strong, keep the lats, the glutes tight, um, your back, you have to use your whole body for the lift, it's not just a single oh, chest and arms just straight up, It's you use your body as you can see here, this is my 100 attempt, you can see my legs shoot, the leg drive, um, I, my lats were tight the whole time and you know I got it up, that was the first time I'd done a pause rep for um, 100 and then you know I had to help myself even more, I wanted to go for 102 and a half which is, you see here, and I fail miserably. But that's okay. Uh, I went for another attempt, I didn't get it on camera, and you know, I failed it again. Um, however, we moved on to the rest of the workout. So we did some incline dumbbell press. I'm um, just doing it with 20 kilos on each side. Um, going for eight reps. Sorry, going for 10 reps, and absolutely just squeezing my chest as hard as I can um, on the way up. And when I'm at the top, just squeezing for, um, just squeezing as hard as I can, um, attempting to, you know, absolutely kill the chest um, because I don't do chest again until Saturday, which is a five day break. So here you can see me doing some, um, I guess you'd want to call them chest pullovers. I'm not sure, I just call them pullovers you know, that's the term I was taught, so I use that. Um, so with this, I'm just absolutely squeezing the whole way down, the whole way up. I'm not letting go of the tents in my um, chest muscles. Um, that creates, a, you know, a lot of pressure on your chest. So I supersetted this. I supersetted the pullovers with some cable flies, which I also didn't capture on our camera. Um, you know, just because I was in the mood. Working out's the number one priority. Filming it is second because so here um, I decided that I wanted to do dips as a tricep accessory, and on my first and second set I did just did sets of ten, um, but I'd never actually tested how many I can do like without stopping, and I think I got to 17 here, yeah, 17 here, and then I uh, failed on the 18th rep, but I was pretty proud of that. I thought I'd only be able to do 12 or 15, and you know I surpassed it. I was really happy with that. Um, and finally, this is the final exercise I ended the workout with, which is just some um, laying down tricep extensions with um, like a flat bar um, on the cable machine. And you know, I like this. It's a good way to not hurt your joints. 
I decided that I would do a lot of my tricep and bicep work with the cables just because it's less taxing on your elbows and overall like it doesn't hurt as much after I train or the next two days after um, like in my elbow joints and in my shoulder joints. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe.